All right, guys, little update. It's November 24th. We're going in for her first, well, her first checkup. She's going to talk for the first time today since her surgery. So this, the last seven days, she's not been able to say a word. So I know it's kind of, it's been kind of stressful on her. Like, you know, she's a happy person. She likes to talk. Are you nervous? All right, guys. Well, this week flew by. Her surgery felt like it was yesterday, and I'm not gonna lie, she's been a little up and down about it. Some days are better than others. She's been sad some days. Some days she's smiling like there's no tomorrow. But you know, she's one of the strongest women out here. She got this, of course. But now she got me up at 6 o'clock in the morning because her, her appointment is like, what, at 8 o'clock? Mm -mm. And I'm not going to lie, guys. The hardest part about this whole experience for her, for her was not being able to laugh and sneeze. You have no idea how hard it is not to laugh when you can't laugh. Like... <laughs> Just being around our family and stuff like that, it's like <laughs> every five seconds somebody's cracking a joke, somebody's saying something to get a laugh out of you, and even like sneezing. Like, there were like four times where she almost sneezed, and we had to like cover her nose so quick because that, yeah, we don't want her to sneeze and possibly pop a stitch or anything like that. And that's the reason we're going in today is to make sure all her stitches are. Still good, making sure that nothing, we don't have to go back and get anything redone, double checked. But I have no worries. She's, yeah, she giggled from time to time, but she did not go, you know, full out laughing or nothing like that. She's been very strong. She's been very determined. But, you know, not talking, like the main thing she loves to do, because, you know, she likes to always talk give a smile talk to everybody not talking for her is kind of like taking away one of her senses so she got a little sad here and there you know and you know me i miss her voice but i'm excited to hear how she sounds today look at you your elbow all up in that camera and stuff it was like this two of you right now nah imagine if you was a twin mm -mm. All right, guys, we're heading out now. Just look at the little outfit of the day. Me little twirly twirl, twirly twirl, okay. All right, guys, so we're heading out now. Our, well, her appointment is at, what, 8, 8 o'clock? 8.30, but it's better if we get there around 8 o'clock, you know, get, get it done sooner, leave quicker, get all the good news, positive vibes only. Picture. <laughs> 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 
sometimes. I don't know how we related, just by glasses. <laughs> Not the brains. <laughs> way back in your throat and then it cuts it out so if you leave your tongue forward keep that tongue right there one two close try again one two better the is on the key again how are they in we were away a year ago. He eat eggs every Easter. Mama will make them in my Peter 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 will keep at the peak. Yeah, for one week out, yeah. this is one of the prettiest voices I've heard. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> yeah, this is, I know it's cutting in and out right now, but when it does come on, it is gorgeous.